Hey everybody, Haku here, recording this first thing in the morning right after recording One Piece. And uh, we have Boku no Hero Academia Manga Chapter 177. And I'm super, super sorry if my computer is really loud in the background. Uh, but it started freaking out because of uh, Manga Stream being just a really crap website this morning. So uh, either way, we're reading on Jaimenis Box where things will actually work. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go through this even though I don't necessarily prefer this translation, which is kind of sad, because I think this is the spiritual successor to the Fallen Angels translation, which was amazing. But either way, let's go ahead. We have uh, chapter 177 at the construction site. An incident in broad daylight. So I guess this will just continue the fight between Izuku and Gentle, who I have come to really, really like. And I think that through their fight, Gentle is going to end up... I kind of feel like he's already a good guy. He's just technically a villain, uh, but I think he's going to become even more of a good guy, maybe turn himself in or something by the end of this. Either way, an old man. <laughs> Looks like an accident just happened. He's looking over at the site. Uh, don't pay it any mind, mister. This is La Brava. We're just doing a film shooting, that's all. Would you please pass it on to your neighbors? A trick like that won't buy much time. Gentle. This sucks, but our plan's been foiled. We have to retreat. La Brava is the best thing, the cutest thing ever. Okay, moving along. I have Izuku going flying through the construction site. Thank you, Hatsume-san. In your current state, you stir up a large radius of wind pressure when you move. My baby won't be as strong. At, won't be as strong, but it should still pack a punch. I know you're still practicing your finger flick, but if you eventually use them in conjunction, conjunction with the Iron Souls, you'll be able to augment your shoot style. And thank you Ashido-san, and he lands on his feet. I was able to incorporate your special dance training. There it is, you did it, we see in the uh, flashback. He lands on his feet. So much dust. Where is he? My my, what an unexpected situation. However, I shall not be shaken. Why are you in that position? Says <laughs> Izuku, and he's just hanging by his jacket off of one of the steel girders. I shall execute my plan at any cost. This is my resolve. A gentleman will not be deterred. Resolve, huh? He's not swayed in the least. That's right, I am, I am the gentle criminal. You're no gentleman. You're trying to pull something at UA, aren't you? Just what do you intend to do? What channel is it on? When is it broadcasting? And we had the old man trying to talk to La Brava. Gentle, my beloved gentle, please, don't lose. What do I intend to do, huh? In truth, I would much prefer if you didn't lump me in with those of the Villain Alliance. I have no interest in pillaging and plundering. I simply want to execute my plan to invade your cultural festival. You should look the other way, young man. He's begging for his life. <laughs> Thanks, huh? La Brava. The school is currently on high alert. You understand that, right? If they discover someone like you, then even before you can get in, the alarm will ring, the cultural festival will be called off, and there will be no place for you to run. Just give it up already. If that is your concern, do not worry. Ho ho ho. My partner is working on rendering those alarms ineffective. The festival will not be suspended, and our plan will succeed. It is a win-win scenario, don't you think? That's an even bigger problem, says Hizuku. Indubitably. He's getting convinced. <laughs> Thanks. La Brava. Indeed, that is precisely my plan. I would like to head over before things become troublesome. You've already been reported. Buy this bluff and give up. I'll detain you until the hero police arrive. Then, we are at an impasse. Now, while I still have the lingering taste of my black er lingering taste of black tea in my mouth, begone student of UA, and he jumps off the air. Predict your opponent's movements. And, you know, I really like his ability. He's using the um, girders like springboards. I can't. And he's jumping all around him. Read him. Shouldn't Izuku be very good at fighting a type like this, though? Considering, um, considering he learned most of his fighting against um, Gran Torino recently. Either way, over there on the beam... And he gets hit in the side of the neck. What? What's going on? How did he get over? If you can use an air bullet, then allow me to counter with an air barrier. Okay. Gentle, I know it's frustrating, but let's retreat. You know, 
an air bullet. It seems that uh, he would be able to use them as well because he can pull the air back elastically and then let loose an air bullet. So Gentle should be able to do that too. Gentle, I know it's frustrating, but let's retreat. Nay, La Brava, not yet. I have to catch him, thinks Izuku. Oh ho, you really should listen to what I'm telling to what I'm telling you, I suppose. I cannot consciously deactivate my quirk, so objects must instead gradually return to their original form. This steel frame begins to rega regain its rigidity, even as its momentum lingers. Thus, I have removed the bolt supporting the beam on which I stand. Okay. At this rate, the, f the frame will collapse. It will be quite dangerous. And then the old man still standing there in the way. Oh, what's that? It's shaking. And then one of the girders falls. You are a student of Yue. The collapsing steel structure is not something you can ignore. And then Izuku catches the girder. Did you just try to drop it on that person below us? Not exactly. I just wanted to keep you occupied. I did originally intend to make it bounce back to prevent it from falling, though. I thought it would be headed downward, but once again, such fearsome speed and power. I am painfully sorry, but please stay here and endure it while I, while I execute my plan. I am sure someone will find you. And then he uses his power to bend down the end of a crane. Hold on, La Brava. Gross, gentle, it's so dirty. His partner shut off the sensors. They'll infiltrate the cultural festival at this rate. That won't do. I have to act. Quickly now, don't be nervous. 8.45 a.m. And we see the uh, rest of the class. Let's find our calm and serene composure, Kaminari. <laughs> calm and serene. Hey Bakugo, put on your sh on your T-shirt. We made it just for the occasion. <laughs> I love the three that are ca somewhat calm, and then Bakugo and uh, Kaminari over there, very intense. The dancing dress it fits perfectly. Ah, Ashido looks really cute. Even though you just touched up or touched up one off the rack, it's erotic, and that's what matters. You know what? I was thinking about Mineta, because I've been super hyped for Season 3, and I'm getting a little off topic here, but I've been super hyped for Season 3, and so I've been going back and listening to a lot of people's reactions and discussions to the first two seasons, and a lot of people didn't like Mineta, like, right away, but for me, I liked Mineta at the beginning, I thought he was just the funny, pervy, comedy relief character. For me, it's not until, like... A good 80 or so chapters in that ever since then I'm like oh can we just replace Mineta with another character let him drop to the general studies and bring up Shinzo because uh, a lot of people are like oh it's people don't like the pervy jokes uh, get over it but to me it's not that to me it's that ever since the beginning of the show Mineta's character has not done anything new like there's the one test where he was kind of okay whatever but it's like the entire show, all he's done has kind of been annoying in the background. And it was funny at first, and after a hundred chapters, it's not funny anymore. Nearly two hundred chapters, actually. It's not funny anymore. Uh, Midori is not here, is he? Says Todoroki. He went out to buy rope, says Aoyama. What could he be doing out this late? Todoroki, let's do our final dress rehearsal already. And Ashido's yelling at him. If he made a scaffold with ice, Uraraka could. Yes, yes. What indeed, says, um, Aoyama. Fifteen minutes until the start of the cultural festival. Our plan is, is Aoyama, like, did we get the development before for Aoyama because he's going to save the day? That would be great. Our plan is going awry, La Brava. However, they are on the lookout for us, so if we get in, my name will be recognized, or even more recognized throughout the world as a man who accomplished spectacular feats. Then Izuku pushes the girder up off himself and launches another air bullet. How tenacious and gentle dodges. Gentle, that kid, he never gives up either, does he? I guess I'll have to use it. My quirk. What is her ability? To be the cutest thing ever? That's her ability. Is that it? Is that it? Or is there another page? Because sometimes there's another page for Boku no Hero Academia. Nope, that's it. Oh well, I enjoyed it. I thought that was a good chapter. 
So, uh, like if you did like the video, comment down there. Tell me what you thought of this chapter, what you thought of my thoughts on it. So excited for Season 3, so subscribe for more stuff on both the anime and manga. I do live reactions every week to the manga. Gonna be doing reviews every week for the anime. And, um, and I'm planning to do soon, I don't know how soon, but uh, I am planning to do a top 25 characters video. I don't know, it's just something I felt like doing since I've been so excited about the series lately. So uh, yeah, I'll be doing that at some point too. Uh, follow on Twitter if you want, I can try to keep you up to there and stuff for the channel. And if you want to link to the Discord server to talk with me or more of us from the channel there, uh, just ask and I'll give you a link to the Discord server. That's it, thank you once again for watching and I'll see you all next time.